Hello, my name is Nicholas Santillo, and in this assignment walkthrough video, I'll be showing you how to create a program indicator in DHIS2. All right, so let's create a program indicator. And this is going to be a little bit different than a regular indicator, but also very, very similar. So we're going to pop into our DHIS2 instance. And in this case, we're actually going to go to programs, not to our maintenance app. And we'll click into our program. And when we find the one we want, which is our financial capability program, we're going to left click and go down to program indicators. And this is where we do all of our development. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what we'll look at here is the overall dropout rate. Uh, we're look, creating two indicators for this assignment, and we'll look at them one at a time. The overall dropout rate is going to be defined by workshop attendance one minus workshop attendance three divided by workshop attendance one. And that will tell us the dropout rate between the first and last workshop. And what I've done is I've gone to workshop one and I have my data element, which is also titled workshop one. I have a separate uh, data element for each of these workshops so that I can compare them to each other, even though they're the same yes, no attendance data element. And I've actually ignored the filter for this indicator. So you can see in this case, it's very, very identical almost to a regular indicator where it is a little bit different is when we look at our filter and that's for our dissatisfied dropout rate. And we'll look at what that means. So the first part of it is the exact same workshop one attendance minus three divided by one um, using the same way that we do it there. And in the filter, this is where it's a little bit different. So when I created my seven point satisfaction scale, I gave a number code to each of the options uh, going from one to seven. And uh, three and four, those codes relate to dissatisfied and very dissatisfied. So what I have here is that if someone in the pre-workshop financial satisfaction survey answered, dissatisfied or very dissatisfied, then I will see their dropout rate. And I can do this for each one of my options. So I could create another indicator to see what's the dropout rate for people who rated uh, satisfied or very satisfied and compare overall dropout rate with the dropout rate for people who said they were dissatisfied or more, uh, compare that with the people who said they were satisfied. We can start to see, did different groups of people drop out uh, at different rates, depending on how they felt coming in. So that's how you would create a program indicator. You can see it is a little bit different. We have the filter, which allows us to isolate uh, some numbers, and we can get some really interesting data from that. So thanks so much, and good luck creating your own. Thanks so much for watching. You can access our curriculum at the link you see there, or email us at info at